Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jo, and today I'm going to go over how to connect your custom domain on Kajabi. And for those of you who are not aware of what Kajabi is, Kajabi is an all-in-one online tool to launch your online courses or coaching programs, or you can build podcast channel and you can build membership sites and you can also build communities like the Facebook groups. But not only that, but you can also build websites on top of your online courses and you can build pages such as landing pages to drive leads to your online business. And you can also do email marketing like nurture leads and convert them into clients. And also you can build funnels like you can do on ClickFunnels software and last but not least, you have the mobile app and that your clients can access your online course or coaching programs on the go with their mobile phone. So that's a ton of features that you get with Kajabi. Especially when you want to launch your online course, Kajabi is like the top rated platform out there for online courses. If you're interested to try out Kajabi for your online business, I will put the link down below in the description and that's my affiliate link and you can test out Kajabi for 30 day trial without any charges. All right, so if you have Kajabi, then I will meet you at the dashboard. So now this is the dashboard of Kajabi. So now let's move on to the website section. So in order to use the website, you need to choose a template, which I have already done that. So I'm going to skip that. And so I'm assuming you have set up the website. And then now if you click the preview, you will see that the default domain is your username dot .com. So this is the subdomain of my Kajabi and it doesn't look professional if you are planning to build your online business. If you want authority, trust, and your brand to be recognized by your ideal clients, then you need to have a custom domain. So I will show you in this video how to connect custom domain with Kajabi. So to connect custom domain, we will be going to settings and we will go to the domain tab. And right here, this is where you change the domain of your username.mykajabi.com to your custom domain. So first of all, you would have to purchase a custom domain that is available on the domain providers like Namecheap, GoDaddy, or Google. Those are some domain providers that you can buy your custom domain from. And I personally bought from Namecheap. So I'll be doing this tutorial with Namecheap. Now my domain is currently username.mykajabi.com. So how do I switch this domain to my custom domain? So I'm going to set up the custom domain right here. So click it right here. And now we have two options. So the first option is to connect domain to Kajabi. You would choose this option if you want to set up the custom domain connected to Kajabi site. But if you want, there is another option. And here we have the second option, create subdomain for Kajabi site. So you would choose this option if you have used your primary domain somewhere else like Wix, Squarespace, or WordPress. And you want to create courses for your contentcreator.com business. So you would use a subdomain in this case with Kajabi. So that can be like, so let's say contentcreator.com and the subdomain should be courses, let's say. So this is the domain that the Kajabi will use for your course platform. So it will be courses.contentcreator.com. So easy, right? But this is not the option that I want to do. So I'm going to connect the domain that I purchased with Kajabi. So I will choose option one, and then my domain name is 925notion.com. Let me check real quick on Namecheap if that's right. So 925notion.com. Okay, so click next. So we are at domain name setup and here we have to remove the existing name servers and connect the name servers of Kajabi. And that's how you connect your domain 
from your domain provider with Kajabi website. So we can quickly add that on the domain provider. So go to the dashboard of your domain provider, in this case, Namecheap, and go to the domain that you want to connect. So now here we have 95 Notion and we have domain tab right here. And here we see name server section. So the default option is the Namecheap basic DNS, but I'm going to connect the name servers of Kajabi. So I'm going to choose custom DNS. In here, we have two boxes to fill two name servers and we have to copy and paste right here. So first one, copy here and paste it. And then same thing for the second name server, paste it right here and click connect. So right now it's going to take up to 48 hours, but usually it takes less than 48 hours to connect. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, great. Now I got a confirmation from Kajabi and saying it's connected already and it's confirmed. Now my custom domain is connected right here, www.9to5notion.com custom domain is connected. So I'm going to use this domain, copy it and paste it. Yes. So it's currently connected to my custom domain right here and it's no longer 9to5notion.mykajabi.com. But I want to check out and see if that domain still works. So I'm going to type in right here, 9to5notion.mykajabi.com. Oh, great. So you still have 9to5notion.mykajabi.com as your default domain, but your custom domain is right here and two domains are connecting to the same page, which is pretty cool. However, if you want to promote your website to your clients, then you would obviously tell them your custom domain, right? That's it all for now. I hope you can connect your custom domain with Kajabi, no matter what domain providers you use. And if you like Kajabi tutorials like this, please click the like button down below and also subscribe my channel. And I'm planning to put a lot of Kajabi tutorial on this channel as well, so that I can support business owners who want to start their online business with Kajabi. That's it all for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.